When we look at the sim space, there will be a convergence. UEBA, CASBs, and security orchestration and automation tools will converge towards one common goal. So with Lockpoint, we are now ingesting data from the cloud. We're automating a lot of stuff when it comes to the analytics and actually building these detection capabilities. So what we see when we look to the future is that the automation of the tier one analyst is what will be driving the, uh, the work. Historically, SIMs have been bought for compliance reasons. Initially, when SIMs were invented and brought to market, it was for threat hunting, but we saw the capabilities, probably in analytics and design and technology, wasn't really there. So once compliance started becoming a really big issue, that was what brought people to actually buy these tools. Now there is a resurgence or reoccurrence of the actual need for threat hunting. So we see UEBA, incident response, advanced analytics as being promoted as capabilities that will actually drive SIMs. So the big dinosaurs, the classical versions of the SIM with a lot of heavy focus on process and reporting, those capabilities are not really what is driving customer decisions now. It's more on how fast can I actually drive analytics? How much can I automate what our tier one analyst is actually doing? When it comes to the uses of machine learning, accelerated detection and response will be the key and has been for a long time with SIM. So now with machine learning, we can automate the detection of different types of incidents, but also how we respond to it. When we look at the maturity level of the customers that typically buy SIM, there's a couple of dynamics when it comes to economics. The very small customers can't attract and retain the talent needed to really operate the SIM. So if we in Lockpoint can build a product that works for the small customer, but also enables the very large customer to be truly effective, the MDRs, then we believe we will have a solution that addresses the smaller market and the very top end and will obviously also fit in the mid market.